Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for June 18th through the 24th. This is for the sign of Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, however you want to take it. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid so you know whenever it resonates. This could have happened maybe happening now or in the future. King of Swords, uh, Reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There, You could be dealing with somebody that really doesn't have your good intentions, put it that way. This person could be harming you, holding you back. Um, something going on here. This person is very controlling, manipulative. Um... Could be an Aquarius. I'm not sure. It could be Libra or Gemini. It could be anybody, really. Um, mm. There could be some spying going on in regards to what your hopes and wishes are. You know, there could be some observation. There could be. There could have been some sort of breakup that happened but somebody is still looking at it. They're still trying to figure out what the next step is going to be. Um, there's definitely some sort of, of stalking going on. I mean, that's the basis of the reading. You know, whether you're stalking another person or they're stalking you, somebody is doing some, some, um, some investigation, put it that way. Um, let me get this zoomed in. So, let's see. Right now, there is some, so there's probably some conflicts in your life. There's probably some, some mild conflicts going on, okay, with that page of swords right in the middle as the basis of your reading. And I think these conflicts are inner conflicts. I think these are inner conflicts in regards to what, what is your dream come true, okay? What, what is your hope? What is your, what is your, what is your inspiration, you know, what is it that you want? I think that's where the conflicts are coming from. I think that you've been going through some period of confusion and you're trying to figure it out. Uh, there is definitely some sort of investigation going on in regards to, you know, another person and what is going to make you happy. I think you're trying to figure it out. I think there has been some sort of disruption in um, a relationship that has caused a lot of depression and despair in your life and it feels as though somebody is acting very very stubbornly and um, unable to uh, see the truth even though the truth is you do see the truth but you're ignoring the truth okay somebody is ignoring the truth with the two of swords okay holding on to anxiety holding on to resentment um, you may be feeling emotionally cold and detached at this time or just even emotionally guarded you may feel like you are blocking or you need to block your true feelings from this person even though this person it, that you are looking into does make you happy that's who you you know that's where your contentment lies okay in the past you know there's been some unfair treatment okay there has but that doesn't mean that there couldn't be wish fulfillment here, even though there's been unfair treatment. The fact of the matter is, whoever this person is that you're looking at, and then you know who it is, that is where your happiness lies, okay? But it feels like right now, you know, right now you're, you're in your head. You're still in your head, and you're going to continue to be in your head throughout this week. This is the outcome card. The outcome card is the Eight of Swords. This is mental turmoil. You're putting yourself through it. There's a lot of mental turmoil here. Mental turmoil, mental turmoil, mental turmoil, mental turmoil, mental turmoil, mental turmoil. You are punishing yourself mentally because you are, it feels like you're too afraid to show your true emotions you're too too afraid of commitment okay too afraid of, that's what it looks like it looks like it's commitment so your advice position is the tower card so your advice is to cause some sort of disruption to reveal to to shake things up that's your advice to shake things up okay and maybe that's what you need to do maybe you do need to shake things up um, 
but the fact of the matter is, is you are you're delaying. You are delaying the outcome that will make you happy. You are delaying your wish fulfillment by not shaking things up, by not taking a stand, by not doing something, by not lighting the fire, by not getting outside of your comfort zone, by letting your emotional um, feelings hold you back. Okay, you're delaying the your own happiness. That's what's going on here because you're emotionally guarded. So, um, your challenge, this is the challenge position. This is how others see you. This is the challenge position. This is your current position. Okay, the challenge position is the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so in this position, it feels as, and she is reversed. It feels as though there is some jealousy there's some possessiveness, there is some stubbornness going on, there is some sort of uh, hard-headed. I think that you are very hard-headed about this person. Maybe you can't make a move because of this person's jealousy. I don't know what the case is, but anyway, um, that's your challenge. Your challenge this week is this person, okay? So it feels as though, you know, but the fact is you're still committed. You're still committed to this person. So let me get some clarifiers. I want to get some clarifiers. Okay, so let's talk about... You're conflicted. Other people see you as being very, very conflicted, wanting to prove yourself. This Five of Swords reverse, this is how other people see you. Other people see you as wanting to prove yourself. You got something to prove, right, Pisces? I mean, is that what that is? People see that? People see that you've walked away from a situation, but you're still thinking about it. You're still, you've walked away to prove yourself, to prove your point, but you're still thinking about it. You're still thinking about the happiness that you once had with a Taurus or a Libra. Okay, this person that you are still thinking about is very beautiful. This was represented by, this is the Earth Mother, okay, and in this case, it could be a Taurus or a Libra, but um, this is somebody who is very beautiful, very kind, very compassionate, very caring, um, very abundant in her own right. I mean, she's abundant without the money. I mean, she is. She's, she has a beautiful soul, and it's easy to see, and that person, you can't just... For some reason, and this could be, I mean, this is a woman, so this could, I don't know who this is, but this person is very wise. They have a lot of life experience. They've been through a lot of suffering, but they have prevailed. She has prevailed. So I feel like this is a person, I don't know who this is, that... You, if you are a female, you are becoming her. If you are a male, this is who your wish fulfillment is. Right now, things aren't progressing. Things aren't progressing for you, even though you're, you're investigating. You lack the confidence to communicate. You do. You lack the confidence to communicate. To make a move. I want to know what's right around the corner. Oh, there could be an offer of love right around the corner. There could be a new message. Either you're giving it or they're giving it. There could be a new message coming in that is or going out. There could be an offer of love right around the corner that leads to commitment and happiness right around the corner for you, Pisces. Um, I want to know about this challenge. Oh, you're dealing, I think you're dealing with a Taurus. We have Taurus, 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 Virgo, Capricorn. You, whatever. I can't make this shit up. Um, anyhow, um, the challenge is commitment. Do you, somebody doesn't want a commitment. Somebody doesn't want a commitment. Somebody doesn't believe in themselves. Somebody doesn't want to do the, take the traditional approach. Somebody isn't listening to their inner guide. That's the challenge. You're not following your heart, your, your gut. You're not. That's your challenge. The future. The future is about getting off the fence, calling a truce. This is the future position. 
You're postponing it. You are postponing your own wish fulfillment because you are on you don't you lack the confidence to communicate. The future you're still deceiving yourself. This is deception. You aren't finding the power and the resources within you to make any changes. You aren't willing to take a step in the future. You're still not willing. You're not willing. You're still guarded in the future. You're still you're still deceiving yourself. In the far future, you may decide to take the lead. You may decide to bring back the structure of your life in the way out future. Not this week. You may decide to take back control. You may decide to um, stand up and make this decision that you have been so indecisive about. You may decide to finally do something about it in the far future. Um, but it doesn't look like it's going to be in the near future. Um, advice. Advice next to that tower. That's advice. Shake things up. Shake things up. Get moving. That's your advice. Get moving. Cause a ruckus. Get moving. Master your emotions. Put yourself in the driver's seat and get your ass in gear. Do something about it. Find the mental strength to overcome this, this turmoil that you've been living in. Face your fears. Face your fears in regards to this person that you can't get off your mind. If, it's, if you're a male, if you're a female, it's time for you to make these changes. Love yourself. But in the future, I feel like you're you're probably going to continue to think about it. You're going to continue to withdraw. Okay, I feel like you're still feeling empty inside, and your or your advice is continued. To, I'm sorry, I said future. And your advice, you know, continue to come up with a plan. Okay, I think that you're still. going through some sort of evolution almost it's like you're still you're still dealing with the old you you haven't completely let the old you die it's going to it's going to happen you're going through a renewal okay you are you're going through some sort of spiritual renewal right now rebirth and so your advice is is to keep going keep going keep going Take all the time you need. There's no, you know, but then, then again, this says get moving, get moving. So you need to shake things up. You've, you've, I think that you have taken enough time to rest and recuperate. I do. I think that you have, but that's just what I think. I feel like, you know, the outcome is you still staying in this mental conflict, still staying trapped mentally. That's the outcome. Not stepping outside of your comfort zone and communicating with this person that you are watching very much. Okay, you are you are definitely watching another person. Um, I feel as though um, you are you are stalling your destiny. You're being called to look at things from a new perspective. Um, to, to really be objective about the situation, to communicate, to um, take the lead, okay? I think that the outcome is when you finally decide to look at things from a new perspective and take the lead, that's when, you're, that's when your destiny will change. But it feels like this week, this week you're going to continue to stall any forward movement in your destiny you're being called to take action to stop stalling to step outside of your comfort zone to stop you know being uh, withdrawn and, and complacent you're being called to to take action 
you know, because there's there's no progress being made at this point. There's no victory. There's no success in wish fulfillment because all you're doing is looking and observing. You're not really taking any action. There's uh, a feeling of, I'm afraid of commitment here. I, 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 I'm not sure I even want a commitment at this time. But I do. I do, but I don't. I, can, I can't stop thinking about this person, whoever it is. You know, I'd like to offer them love. This is who I love, but I can't... Um, I can't let my guard down at this point. I can't take the shield off of my heart. So I feel like you're continuing to live in this mental conflict to protect yourself. And it feels as though you, you probably feel like you need a little bit more time. You feel like you need more time, but you're being called to take action because this person that you're dealing with, which is a man or a woman, is very, very kind, compassionate, beautiful, and loving and wise and and has options this person has options okay whoever it is that you're thinking about and watching they have options so i feel like right now you know you are you're bringing yourself bad luck by not being open to a new perspective that's what's happening the wheel of fortune reversed is bad luck so you're bringing yourself you know bad luck by not taking action you know you're not there's there's no action being taken this week because you're you're so mentally trapped in in protecting your heart you know protecting yourself and not wanting a commitment if you don't want a solid commitment then you know it's not going to work you can, okay it's not i mean most people don't want a polygamous or a what is the other yeah, word i can't think of it you know, they want a commitment. And I feel as though you don't really want a commitment. You do, but you don't. You do, but you don't. So I feel like there is a new opportunity right around the corner with somebody that um, could lead to love. But you, you, don't, you may not take any action because you don't want a solid commitment. So that's what I see, Pisces. I feel like that you are, your advice is to stop sitting around and take action take action face your fears shake things up that's your advice shake things up for this person that you are dreaming about and and watching I don't know what the hell this is but so anyway I guess I gotta get the romance angel cards don't I um, advice for Pisces for this week. I think you're going through some sort of rebirth. You are. You're going through some sort of rebirth. You're still shedding some of your the old you. And maybe that's one of the reasons why you can't move forward. You haven't gotten to where you need to be. That could certainly be the case. But that chariot card is, is it's time to get moving. You are going through a transformation. You are. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Oh boy. Taurus got this card too. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Come on now. It's right over the Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, whatever. Whoever. We have Gemini, we have Aries. We have we have all the signs here. Could be any sign. Express your love. Express your love. What are you waiting for? You waiting for it to be too late? Eventually it's gonna be too late. Because this person, man or woman, has a beautiful soul and people flock to this person because of their the vibration that they put out and that could be you that could be you taking on that energy go ahead and make the romantic gesture Keep an open mind. Just keep an open mind. Seriously. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. If you would let it happen.
But I think but other you're trying to prove yourself to who? Society, your friends, your family, to the person, I don't know. This person doesn't need to prove themselves. They know what they're worth. So anyway, Pisces, I feel as though there's going to be, right around the corner, whether it's this week or next week, or it's already happened, there's an opportunity for love and a reconciliation with somebody that you're, you're watching right now, or they're watching. I think it's you watching them. And the thing is, is you're going to have to be objective about following your heart, and I feel like you're really stubborn and you're not you're not being objective to it and you know there's the, when the tower comes out in a reading it's be, something is going to happen that shakes things up whether you like it or not or it has happened Anyway, I can see that you've gone through some sort of transformation. You're still changing and you're still indecisive about moving forward, but you're being called to move forward. And for those of you that hate the thought of a reconciliation, a reconciliation could be with anybody. It's not the, it, you know, it is. It could be somebody from past life. It could be somebody that you're very familiar with. It doesn't have to be somebody that you had sex with. But you have to be open to it. You do. You have to be open to commitment. And I think the biggest issue here is long-term commitment. And independence. I mean, the Queen of Swords is very independent. I think that the biggest issue that you are having is letting go of your independence. There's an opportunity for love right around the corner. With somebody that you are familiar with. But I'm not sure you can let them in. Talk to you later.